All right, the first of our application problems is dealing with integers. This is a basically a direct translation problem, um, but because it is an application, we're going to have to do a little bit of thinking first. So this says the sum of three consecutive odd integers results in 45. Find the integers. So before we begin, we need to understand the problem. We need to know what we're talking about here. They're saying we're going to add up the sum of we're adding up three consecutive odd integers. Well, what are odd integers to begin with? They would be basically odd numbers, right? Things like um, maybe saying three, five, and seven. Those are odd integers. These are consecutive odd integers because they are the next one, the next one, the next one, that type of thing. So, um, and it doesn't matter where you would start. If the, if the first odd integer was 39, then the next one would be 41, and the next one would be 43. This is what it means to be consecutive. Well, we're looking for three consecutive odd integers that somehow would add up to be 45. This is the process that you're going to use when you start solving word problems. You need to really try and figure out what's going on in the information that they've given you first before you ever start. Now we have to identify our variables. We have to figure out what is it we're trying to find. Well, we're trying to find those three odd integers, right? So I might label these as my first one, the second one, and then the third one. We have no idea what any one of these numbers are. So how about if we just let the first one be x? Whatever this first number happened to be, we know because of them being odd integers, the next one we'd have to add 2 to get to the next spot. So whatever the first one is, we would add 2 to get to the second one. And then to get to the third one, we'd have to add another 2. So that would be x plus 2 plus 2, which would be x plus 4. This is identifying your variables. It is crucial that you do this. And now we can do the translation. The sum of means add up the three consecutive odd integers, this one, this one, and this one. So we're adding our first to the second to the third and that result should be 45. That's the direct translation. Now it's a matter of solving the equation. So here we have 1, 2, 3 x's, and we have a positive 2 and a positive 4, which would be a plus 6, equals 45. And now at this point I could, <coughs> sorry, subtract 6 from both sides to get 3x equals 39 and then dividing both sides by 3 to get x alone, so x will equal 13. Now, we've got our answer, but we have to figure out what does that mean, and does it make sense in the problem. An x value of 13 says that this first integer here is 13. Well, if we know what the first integer is, then we also know the second one is 2 more than that and the third one would be 4 more than the first one. So that would be 17. That tells us our three consecutive integers are 13, 15, and 17. Now double check to make sure that that makes sense. Those are odd. They are consecutive, so that is logical. We can also add these up just to double check that they do in fact add up to be 45. Now did we answer the question? It said find the integers, and yes, we did. 